Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Call of the Sea. Last time we left off, we finished off chapter two and now we're back in the water. We also saw some, saw some sort of giant monster, which I uh, do not like, but uh, hey, we're, we're fine. We're healthy currently, so I'm sure everything will be good. Well, we're not healthy. I have to get back. I, I have to find... Our character is not healthy. They have some kind of weird Cthulhu disease. Oh, man. Sorry. It was just yawning. It's pretty early for me currently. What is that? What kind of creature is this? Hi. This is an adventure game, so I know you can't hurt me, so... I need to get a closer look. Oh, that's how you go Lovecrafty and crazy. Oh my god, you have gills. Or, not gills. Webbed feet. And hands. I'm guessing. Yep, you're turning into a fish person. This is Lovecrafty. But hey, we're down here now. Uh, what, what happened? Oh, how did I get to this beach? Oh, I have a terrible headache. Uh, what are those? Chapter 3, The Vanishing of the Lady Shannon. Okay, I probably got... This is probably my new... Zone, the ship itself. We're gonna find out what the hell happened here. God. Torn apart and cast so far up the beach. What on earth could have happened to it? This is such a beautiful game. God, this game is pretty. Such idyllic landscapes and just like fantastic use of color. And the game isn't even that hard to run. They just made it look really good. This is just proof that you don't need like super high resolution graphics or anything to make a game that is actually beautiful. Nintendo does this as well. I consider Odyssey to be a fantastically beautiful game, and it runs on the Switch pretty damn well. I love use of color and this fantastic landscapes. It's so neat. It's so neat. My god. Alright, let's go see what we got going on here. I'll stop gawking at the scenery and actually make some progress. I know, insane, right? All right, so anything with you? Doesn't look like it. You're just one of those lights. So I don't think you're anything too important. But is there anything back here? No, hiding. Huh? Ropes are frayed, and there are strange marks on the wooden pole. Uh huh. Did they have somebody like tied up here? Ropes are frayed, and there are strange marks on the wooden pole. Might have had somebody tied up there. There's also food disposed of right here, so maybe, yeah, maybe they had somebody tied up or something tied up and they were feeding it to keep it alive. Hmm, they also have light shining on it. Yeah, maybe it was a specimen they got or something, or like a member of the, like maybe the doctor went crazy and they had him tied up and were feeding him and were researching him and stuff to try and find out what the hell happened. Maybe. Maybe the doctor turned into a fish man. Looks like they took items from the stranded ship. Certainly does. Wish we had a flashlight right about now. I believe Harry visited this exposition when he was looking for answers for my illness. Can't really read it. Wins the Senate by Torek Landside. Prosecution, Massachusetts, Newbury. Yeah, exhibition coming to Boston. Delano, Roosevelt expects reception in the southern state. Okay. Interesting. Got some history there. Yup. Oh my god. Look at his contorted face. Is this what's going to happen to me? Okay, so yeah, doctor went crazy, started turning into fish man, losing his sensibilities. And uh yeah, they had tied him up and were feeding him to keep him alive, but also studying him. Those footprints definitely do not look human. And at some point, he was able to cut the rope, probably. This picture is taken from a distance. What is he doing? Summoning Cthulhu! Carthagen. So, uh, is, is this recording? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, shouldn't we be listening to something, Frank? I have assembled and disassembled. Why? So it should be fixed, Mr. Eberhardt. I don't know. Maybe it was never meant to play music. <laughs> Where have you been 
this whole time. See you See you Oh my god. He's got a knife. Get off! Hold him! Hold him for Christ's sake! Call to your Heroa, quick! Oh, yeah. He was spouting gibberish, yep. <laughs> yep. He was spouting gibberish and everything. The Cathagan Wahabakahagan. I see anything inside the tents. I should find a way to turn these lights on. He was talking gibberish, he's seen the other side. Yup. Poor Doc. Colson Rituals. Interview with Inspector John Raymond Legrasse. Okay, so nothing super interesting about this. Uh, what about these? Strange incident in Massachusetts. A collection of happy news. Your owner family vanishes from their Arkham farm. Okay, so there's been events of this happening in other places as well. Rapsudim and her wife oh found dead at high seas. Okay, so yeah, he's collecting clippings of the various instances that, where this has happened before. Maybe it all originated from this island? Yeah. Oh boy, whoa! I did not notice those scratch marks on the Lady Shannon. Holy hell. Those are big scratch marks. A pulp magazine. I love Chandra Hogarth stories. The House at the End of the World, a tale of mystery, fantasy, intrigue by Chandler R. Hogarth. Escape from Arcadia. Tales from Beyond is the original and leading fiction magazine. Cream of weird stories. Find plenty of fascinating stories in Tales from Beyond, the unique magazine. All the stories printed in Tales from Beyond will live forever on in our reader's imagination. It's unrivaled, excellent stories of the weird, the shocking, and the horrible, gripping takes that stimulate the mind and send shivers up the spine. Tales that take our readers from the ordinary world about us into a fearful realm of shocking stories so thrillingly told that they seem very real. This just seems like an ad, so I'm not super interested in that. Gesamta Phenomene. Berlin. Yeah, so I, I don't speak German. I am a filthy American and I'm uncultured. So... I... I, I kind of speak a little bit of Spanish. I really wish they taught us more than one language when we were young, because it would be so much easier to learn then. Instead, that we don't start really taking language classes until like middle or high school, then it's too late. Where if is it? Whereas if they taught us it in elementary school, it would be super easy to have another language under our belt from a very young age. Warden Blake, news agency. What are you? Film. Transparent film cartridge. Twelve experience. Come on, we gotta level up. Uh. Okay, what is this? What is this? Are they running from something? He's repairing my old music box. What is that? Excuse me? Okay, well that's terrifying. Alright. Uh, you're, you're saying we need to find a way to turn the lights on, and I do agree with that. The unfortunate bit is... How? Like, I can still examine stuff. Let's see, where's, like, a generator? That's what I'm looking for. Is there a generator? There is, okay. Something's linking in here. Okay, that's going up there, though. Come on, the power has to be coming from somewhere, guys. Here? No, that just links to that. Okay, never mind. We're, we're just going to examine everything, one by one, I guess, without power. This looks like a pretty big area, so... This might take me a bit. Okay, so we've examined that one. There was a little something hiding in here. Someone took notes about some important dates. June 30th, arrival on the island. June 1st, we set up camp. June 14th, Roy blows up the whale's hatch. July 24th, we strike camp and move to the beach. July 4th... Teenth, last entry in the Lady Shannon's ship log. Uh, same day. Roy blows up the whale's hatch and last entry in the Lady Shannon's ship log. So that must mean that we pissed something off when we blew up the whale's hatch. And the Lady Shannon was beached because of that. 
Did he take some amulets from the other campsite? Or did he carve some more? I'm not sure. So that must be uh, the Polynesian dude's tents. Uh, okay, we've looked there. We've looked there. We haven't looked here. Thing. Poor doctor, though. He didn't deserve that. He just got splashed by the black ooze and then went crazy. The expedition only has five members now. Yep. I'm thinking that's Frank. I don't know who this is. That's the Polynesian guy. That's Harry, and I'm unfamiliar with who she is. Like, I've heard her speak in things before, but I, for some reason in my brain right now, I'm like, I, I can't think of what she actually is. Probably means Polynesian dude doesn't want to sit with him again. Okay. What do we got in here? These two fellas seem to get along pretty well. Okay, so Frank and the Polynesian guy like each other. I'm glad you stayed by his side, whoever you are. Frank, I understand what you are saying, but we can't leave Harry here alone. I know you must be thinking I'm only interested in a scoop, but what would you do if it were your wife who was sick? Would you let her die? I'm staying here to the end. See. Imagine that's the dude that looks kind of... He honestly looks kind of pissed off. Where is he? Here's the picture, I think. Yeah, this guy. Thinking that guy? Cause your name wasn't C, right? I don't I don't think so. Could be like Carl or Chris. Okay, so oh box. Looks like Frank wanted to leave, but I don't know if Harry ever read this letter. Miss Ward, our lives are in grave danger on this island. Look what happened to Dr. DeWitt. The man is going completely bananas. I really think we should get off this island as soon as possible. Mr. Everhart was determined to leave until he found that organ thing. Do I have your support to convince him? Frank. So, Ward is the name of the lady that we're seeing. Who kind of looks like Elizabeth from Bioshock. These medical tools are hair-raising. Yeah, I can barely see him. Doctor was certainly well supplied with all kinds of substances. Poison, all kinds of stuff. Oh dear. This dock was a certifiable loon. Yesterday the stones danced with my song. My song, Mijin Live Lege, everything is tuned in this place. There is a treasure in Shkat Go Kalar Arluhu Fenglui Faflagul. Yup. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Uh, yup. That's all I got to say. Oh, it's... Oops. It's really dirty. Anything on the fedora? Yep, that's that dude's. A handkerchief with the letters EDW embroidered on it. It's stained with blood and black ooze. This is the doctor? DeWitt. Yeah, Dr. DeWitt, right? Discarded clothing. It hasn't been worn in a long time. Okay, so yeah, this is obviously... His tent. Interesting. All right, what else we got? Hey, this sailor is a dead ringer for my grandpa Isaiah. Innsmouth, Innsmouth fisherman. Yeah, Innsmouth is where like all the Lovecraft stuff always takes place in all the games. Uh, to be fair, I've never really read any Lovecraft stuff, but I have seen a lot of, you know, games that use that as a premise. And yeah, they usually take place in Innsmouth, or Innsmouth. Funny. You have found the secret object in Chapter 3. Oh. I didn't know there were secret objects. Okay. Interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. The menu is rather limited here. Sardines and beans, uh, I, I think is mostly what I've seen. Okay, so that was the secret item here. Are those candles? Just take a candle and light it. Walk around with that. That'd be better than this. Of course, although I guess it is very windy. The candle would probably have a very hard time staying lit. Okay, so we've explored all of this. Let's go explore the rest of the camp. Over here. See what's happening, and maybe we can get the, the lights on or something. This is a very big area. 
like I said. So this chapter might actually take me a little bit longer. What is that noise? I hear noises. Oh, that's interesting. Are these to stop the candle from going out from the wind? Neat, if so. It, like, blocks the wind from it. I may just be overthinking it. Alright, what do we got? Okay, that seems important. These symbols are linked to the piano keys. What piano? <laughs> wow, look at the size of these stones. Megalithic basalt stones. Is that all the read says? South Pacific Expeditions Megalithic basalt, basalt stones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you're linked to the, so those piano keys, I'm guessing. Okay. A rock stained with black ooze. Looks like the prototype of something. Hmm. It might need to be turned on. Okay, so we need to get the power going to make that work. Huge pipe How organ. Can someone build something like this out of stone? Huge pipe organ section. Basalt structure. C. Water waves push air through carved stone tubes, creating different sounds. I've been studying the structure for the last few days. Have a good ear, Harry. The tone it emits changed consistently with the tides. Interesting. Uh, oh, hello. Hi. That son of a... I'm guessing that says bitch. DeWitt, DeWitt stabbed Frank. Luckily it was just a flesh wound. Tis but a flesh wound. It's a good thing they hadn't held me back or I would have plugged that nutcase like the rabid dog that... Jesus, what am I saying? Who are you? I, I've never seen Harry so angry. Oh, that's Harry. Oh, maybe he's been infected with the black ooze now too. Okay. Captain Hodgson told me that knowing the lunar cycles is useful for better navigation at night. So Harry probably took this calendar from the Lady Shannon. Hmm, and that's probably important for <clears throat> understanding the waves with the organ thing. I'm guessing. Okay, so... What kind of doodad is this? I don't know. Boy, do I not know. Doesn't even seem like I can do anything with it. Oh yeah, we probably need the power on. Yup, we probably need the power on. Okay, well let's go up here and see what's up this away. I thought, I thought turning the power on would be easier since it seems like it's the first thing we need to do. Okay, there's certainly something up it's here. It's curious, but it's the first time since I got sick that I feel useful. Harry is depending on me, and not the other way around. They certainly do like column their jointing in this game, huh? <laughs> there's a lot of these things. A, a YouTuber, a YouTuber uh, that I watch sometimes uh loves talking about columnar jointing because he's a geologist and uh like he has like a colo like an album of pictures where games use columnar jointing just like crazy it's like one of the most popular geological structures to use in games and it's super true like it's everywhere it is everywhere i mean it's cool and it's a naturally occurring thing but it is very overused in games what odd structure doesn't look like a building, though. That must be the piano that we are talking about. You didn't add this. I thought these would have been interesting, but you didn't add that to our uh, notes. So I'm guessing that is uh, not something important. So we're just going to keep walking this way. We are just going to keep walking this way. All right, up here... Up here. So what is this? If anything. It's a cool view. Oh, that's a good thumbnail. Oh, that's a good thumbnail. Hold this shot. Hold this shot for a few seconds. Boom. That is a good thumbnail. Right there. Right there. That is a good thumbnail. Remember that, me. That should be the thumbnail, because that is an awesome vista and shot. Just once again shows how beautiful this game is. It has so much beauty in it. 
It's so cool. Honestly, one of the better Lovecraft games I've seen, because usually... In my experience, they're kind of bad, because they try to shoehorn in, like, a bunch of different mechanics or stuff. I guess Call of Cthulhu, the original one, is probably the other best Lovecraft game I've seen. Mo like, a lot of the newer ones and stuff are just like... I don't know if someone in the expedition was a cook, but... I really hope they didn't rely on Harry for it. <laughs> when he lived in the dormitory, he only ate out of tomato soup and corn cans. I've never seen anybody with such poor nourishment. Um, a lot of the other, lo like, Call of Cthulhu games and games that try to use this premise try to shoehorn in too many mechanics, where I feel like this game is good at keeping it simple. It's just an adventure game. That's all you need to have a cool, thrilling story. But all the other ones try to have, like, RPG mechanics and shooting and... I don't know. It, it just feels like it... Uh, what's the word? Uh, bloats it? Some kind of improvised workshop. Okay, what do we got here? Once this again, this. The highest part of the island. And that diamond shape again. How striking. Okay. You I thought made that's... it work, Harry. Now it's my turn. I thought that said good morning, cow. Good morning, crew. Sorry for the uh, reveal this morning. I didn't expect to wake all of you up with the noise from that awful organ. The good news is that the organ revealed the entrance to a temple. The bad news is that the temple is on the mountaintop, so I hope you're in the mood for a good hike. All joking aside, if the temple has the answer that I'm looking for, we can finally leave this damn island and go home. Thank you all for sticking with me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely an improvised workshop, and I notice we actually have power over here. Why is that? What kind of machine were you building? Piece of the mast, tubes, sheet metal. Frank. This is the reason the ship was scavenged. Frank, if we want to enter the temple on the mountaintop, we'll have to reproduce the effects of the organ somehow. I know we weren't planning on this, but we'll have to build a machine with whatever we can lay our hands on from the Lady Shannon. Do you think we can do that, Harry? So you're improvising your own, like, organ. Blowtorch. Looks like it's been used a lot. Interesting. Harry isn't usually very chummy, but... He really seems to like Frank. Frank, great idea. We'll move the materials we need to the summit so we can set up camp there. Just another thing. Please stop calling me Mr. Mr. Everhart. Call me Harry, as all my friends do. Okay, so yeah, you seem to like Frank. Frank seems like a good dude. He seems pretty nice to everyone. Seems to get along with everyone. Is there a reason to go over here? Okay... Looks like something. Hmm. Okay. Over here now. Hmm. Alright, I think I've found most of the stuff that's over here. I'm quite curious about why this area and this area alone still has power. Let's try to go up here. I also haven't actually been in the ship yet. I'm going to read up on engineering. I've been interested in knowing how things work since I was a child, but I always thought technology wasn't for me. What nonsense. That is nonsense. Anybody can be into anything they want. They just have to... get interested in it and work towards it. Yeah, I think I could go in the ship, and I haven't been in there yet. door looks like an exit. How does it open? Hmm... How does it open? Uh... Hmm... Not really seeing much to examine here. This ornate structure certainly isn't natural, but not man-made either. Uh, this feels ominous. Yeah. Yeah, I'd venture to say so. Somebody was sleeping here. Probably Harry? Okay, we probably need to put something in there. Must be instructions to operate this bizarre structure. Tuning the organ by opening and closing the right tubes. Open, closed. Okay. 
So that's how you tune this thing. Um... Interesting. Don't know anything about that yet. Don't know anything about that yet. And I definitely, definitely don't know the right configuration I need to have this thing in yet. So... This may be kind of pointless to investigate right now. I think we need to go into the ship and see if we can find anything in there. Can I get a closer look at those... Oh. Those symbols seem to indicate the height of the tide. Okay. That's probably useful. Glad I came down here. There's also one of those things down there. Okay, the height of the tide. We'll go over our notes in just a second. I just want to get everything together and then we can kind of go over it all at once, I think. And we'll see how that uh, goes for us. Can I not? I can't jump down from here. Hmm. But there is another one of these things down here that I gotta keep in mind. All right, let's 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 get out of here and let's go back onto the ship and see what we can find on the ship. There might be some more stuff there that we need. It looks like we got like a little pipe organ puzzle and we're gonna have to judge the tide, which let's go ahead and look at our notes now. Okay, so these are what we got for our notes. We got this, which are probably the notes we gotta play. And then we got the sea level, which is right there, and then new and full. So you did write down that. Okay, so let's go back. All right, Harry tried to replicate the well ritual by tweaking his strange optical device. Staining the lens with the black ooze. I don't think he ever achieved it, but I have. What I saw through that lens left me speechless. I get the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it. I lost consciousness inside that well and got covered in black ooze, but I didn't drown. Instead, I had the strangest dream. I mean, it was a dream, wasn't it? Or a vision, maybe? I'm still not sure. I couldn't control my own body. I jumped off a cliff and dived into the sea. November 7th, 1934. I woke up in the dead of the night on a black beach, but I can't remember how I got here. I've just got fuzzy memories like a dream. An enormous shipwreck cast its shadow over the black sand on the beach. It looks like lights are shining through the cracks in its hull. Dr. DeWitt's mind was getting... Worse, and he tried to stab Frank. The doctor seemed to be possessed by something that gave him incredible strength. The rest of the expedition had to subdue him and tie him to a pole. After several days of descending further into madness, the doctor disappeared in the dead of night. His restraints were torn apart, and there were strange footprints in the sand nearby. The ship is completely abandoned. What happened to its crew? The members of the expedition used whatever they could find inside the beach ship to build another campsite on the, this black lava beach. Harry found another unknown structure built by a previous civilization. He, he keeps searching for answers, even as they wait for him for help to arrive. The tidal organ emits musical tones when the water pushes through its tubes. Okay, and all these spots that we're missing probably come from the ship. I'm quite scared of storms. When I was a child, I used to cover myself with the sheets to not listen to the noise of thunder. I honestly doubt I'd like to cover myself with anything in here. Time to overcome my fears, I guess. Alright. So yeah, we probably need to go into the ship now that has been completely messed up. I'm guessing that's where the power's coming from, because she said there were lights shining through it, so maybe that's where we're getting the power, and that's where I had to turn the power on this whole time. But I've already explored this entire place without lights, so... <laughs> Whatever, I guess. What are you? Hmm. No power. Yep, and the power's coming from here. Okay, so I should have just went in here way earlier. This hole was ripped open. A few jagged rocks couldn't have caused a gash of this size. It's clearly that giant monster we saw. Okay. <clears throat> yes, yes. Hello. Okay, there's not- the ship doesn't look like it has that much going on inside of it. It looks like we're blocked off from a lot of areas, so I don't actually have a ton to explore. But this is probably where I turn on the power. Like I said. Climb, 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 climb. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. Yeah, it is a little creepy, isn't it? Uh... 
Alright, so we got all this stuff. I can't all right. see any trace of the ship's crew, nor their remains. What happened here? She didn't finish reading that part. Uh hello. Damn it. Oh, do I have to Oh, this is this reminds me of puzzles in uh this reminds me of puzzles in, um, what's it called, uh, Resident Evil, where you have to, like, route the power correctly. There we go. Okay, we can just guess. Okay, so it's this one, and this one, I believe. And then, let's try you, and then you. The lights. Cool, cool. So we got that now. Solved that puzzle pretty quickly. That was just a simple trial and error puzzle, so nothing too bad there. <coughs> Is that Harry? No. Just a recording. Hmm. The ship was whaling not far from here. Yeah. Even the crew of the ship that brought Harry's expedition to this island were afraid of it. We delivered the six members of the Everhart expedition to the. You know, can I turn you off? I can. Cool. Thank you. Alright. <clears throat> June 30th, 825 AM. We delivered the six members of the Everhart Expedition to the island without incident. We'll come back to pick them up again in three weeks. If there's anything left to pick up by then. 12.40 PM. Left the island after lunch. No incidents. June 34th, 6 AM. The area nearby seems, in ad seems adequate for whaling. We might get a good catch. Okay. Hmm. This is the captain's last entry. July 14th, 1025 AM. Good weather and clear sailing until a surprise undercurrent shook the ship. I haven't seen the sea that rough in years. First mate swears he saw a huge sea creature near our hole shortly afterwards. Definitely not a whale. <coughs> yup. So, July 14th was when they blew up the well, which angered the sea god. And, uh, Cthulhu Monster Man is like, uh, I'm gonna fuck up your ship. Frank is certainly a resourceful man. I've wired up your message to the radio like you asked, Mr. Everhart. I'll keep broadcasting as long as the ship's got fuel. It'll keep broadcasting as long as the ship's got fuel. God help us, Frank. Okay. I was thinking this expedition had... looking for in the heart of the island? I was thinking this expedition had failed, but then I found the stairs... I was worried, I was worried the expedition had failed and was worried about how we'd get back home, but then I found those stairs that led me to that giant stone organ. It might be another way to get to the very heart of the island. In any case, there's nothing we can do until someone hears our distress call. That's fair. Apparently, Harry's expedition waited for a long time to be rescued. Did they give up hope? Possibly. Okay, what do we got here? Maybe the legend is more real than it seems. On the island of Penape, there's a city called Nan Madol that's composed entirely of large basalt structures. Legend has it the city was built with floating stones moved by black magic. Can I... nope. There's never anything on the back. I keep checking until, like, uh, thinking that maybe eventually they'll do something with that. But they have not yet. They have not yet. Everything on this rotten Why island... completely covered in that black goo. I wonder what it'll do to me. Everything on this rotten island has something to do with that damn black ooze in one way or another. The ancient ruins, the ritual well, even Dr. DeWitt's irrational behavior seems to be related to him getting exposed to that awful liquid. The black ooze's properties are perplexing. Black ooze test. Changes consistency, levitates when exposed to different vibration frequencies. And you've tried a couple of different ones. Okay. What one should I try? Like, These knobs must control the vibrations inside this chamber. Okay, and you've tried... 
Well, 99, 633, You've tried all those. Where would I get a vibration frequency that you haven't tried, though? Like, that's probably what I want to look for, right? Hmm. Not really seeing anything here, though. Let's consult our notes. <clears throat> Yeah, no, we don't, we, we're done with that page, so it's all the stuff on this page. Log. The ship has several colossal gashes along its side, unusual in shape. It should have sunk in the ocean outright, but how did it end up ashore? I thought I heard Harry's voice, but it turned out to be a call for help that he left broadcasting from the ship. I wonder if anyone responded. Yeah, okay, we haven't found... Okay, wait, here we go. The ship is completely abandoned. What happened to its crew? The members of the expedition used whatever they could find inside the beach ship to build another campsite. Okay, now we read that. Discovered that the black gun might have different uh, applications. The ooze reacts to different sound frequencies, and some can even make it float in the air. Did the inhabitants of this island know that too? Harry found another unknown structure built by a previous civilization. He keeps searching for answers even as they wait for help to arrive. The tidal organ emits musical tones when the water pushes air through its tubes. Okay... Hmm. I'm still unsure what exactly I need to be doing here with this. And then there's like these knobs. I don't know what to deal with these knobs. I don't know what the deal is with these knobs. Um, can I... I can't... I can't turn these things. Oh, I have to actually turn it on. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay, so I imagine green light means good. Okay, so we probably gotta get you in the right spot first, right? Okay, and then we can get you in the right spot. And then... Oh. Shit. So you control both of those. But you move all three, don't you? Yeah, damn it. Hmm. And then... Eh? Eh? No. So we need... Okay, we got you two. No, that doesn't work either. Okay. Do you just move... Okay, you just move... You move the first and third one. You move the first and second one, and you move those two. God, I don't feel like this would ever work. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Let's pull you all the way down. In fact, let's just pull all of you all the way down. So, that would work for you guys. And if I got you guys there, I could do that. And then, no. Oh my god, this is going to take me a minute probably. Yeah, that makes both of you work. <clears> hmm. <throat> Alright, give me a second to futz around with this. I don't think these numbers actually matter. I think we just gotta get the, all these lights green by fiddling with these knobs. Ah, uh, I got it. I better write down those numbers in my journal. So, I didn't totally understand it, but basically, it seems like you just needed to face them all at basically the same exact position. And I started from this one. I started from the right side and worked my way left. 
but that seemed to work. I it was kind of a basic idea, but it worked, I guess. Okay, so we got those 262, 349, 415. So that's how we're supposed to get it to work, I guess. Okay, we did that. I imagine that's what we needed to do in here. So now we can leave. Weird. I, I kind of just stumbled upon that. Like, once again, I had a stupid idea, and I implemented it, and it worked out? <laughs> so... yeah? I guess? Only God knows how long I've been covered in this black liquid. I wonder what it's going to do to me. Although I doubt anything could be worse than my illness. I wouldn't be so sure. I wouldn't be so sure about that. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure about that, but hey, we figured it out. Yay. It, like, I, I didn't get that puzzle, to be honest. Like, I just didn't get it. I was just like, I wonder if I just... <clears throat> like, I was, I, I realized that I had to get them all working, and I tried a bunch of different things, and then I was just like, what if they all point at the same position, and one of the positions just happens to work? Uh, and sure enough, it did. Whatever. I did it. That's the important thing. So, now I think we go over here with this thing, and we input some stuff in here? Because we needed the power on, and the power is on now, right? Oh, wait, no, 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 I didn't turn the power on. I still gotta turn the power on over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Forgot about that. Alright, so yeah, we still gotta go over here and turn this power on. Over here. Yeah, so the turning this on will activate everything else. Hmm. No power. Why not? I thought I activated it. Is it a different one? Let's see. This goes up there it hmm I mean I was I was thinking that was activating the power that thing that I did over here did I not did I not do it right or something did that only activate power inside the ship hmm like I'm pretty sure I did it right I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Let's see. Here's something beeping back there. Yeah, this is on. And where do you lead? You lead- oh, there was another one. There we go. Okay. And then this goes down there and probably leads outside to that other one that I now have to activate. Okay, so I just missed a circuit breaker. Got it. Nothing too crazy. I thought I missed like a puzzle or something for a second. Or like I didn't do that first one right, which would I which is what I was mainly worried about. But no, it seems like we did it fine. All right. So now we head back out here, I think. Another circuit, right? Oh, we're good there. Okay, so now if we activate this, we should be good. Correct? Yes. <clears throat> that should make things easier. Well, I have already examined everything here, so... Oh, I do have to activate you, though. There we go, and yeah, that activated power over here. Good, good. So there was just a bunch of circuit breakers that I had to hit. Is there another one over here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so now we can do this, Jazz. Okay, and yeah. I imagine this is what we actually have to mess with. Right here. So we have... Three numbers. So... What exactly am I supposed to do here? Um... 
262. Okay, so that, I see, I see. So we press these and it gives us a hertz, okay. 277, or 267. 311. Skip one right here, 349. Okay, this is much simpler than I thought. There. Okay, we filled them all in. So, 262 would be... Um... Diamonds. And then 349 is... Like, four diamonds. I'm writing this down, so... In case anyone wonders why I'm a bit quiet at the moment. Okay, and then the final one, 415, is like two triangles parallel to each other. All right, so those are the symbols that we need. Now, what is, what is... I expected no less from you, old pal. What is, what is this shit right here? Okay, yeah, we probably want it on, right? Okay, there's that note. Okay, so... I hope you didn't borrow this slide projector from the University of Denver, old pal. Okay, so the, these are how we go through the slides. So tide measurement levels. Yeah. Yeah, we got that in there. The sea level's currently right there. Um... What? So... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna write this down. So, it, it, we have our combination of stuff up top there, and I'm guessing I gotta write down the stuff on the bottom? So, we have, for our first one, which is the that first diamond, we have, like, four triangles. Like, basically a square that was cut into fourths down at the bottom, right below that. So, I'm gonna draw that. And I, we'll, we'll see if this is what I'm supposed to do. It's basically like some kind of weird code. Okay, and then we have four triangles, which translates to like three diamonds, it looks like. Just in a straight line. Although that one in the middle looks more like a trapezoid or a parallelogram or whatever. Okay, oh god. That's unfortunate. <laughs> My paper was like kind of pushed up. <clears throat> so I accidentally wrote on the next piece of paper. So half of my symbol is on one piece of paper and the other half is on the other one. Great. Uh, okay, and then this one, this last one is just... Boom. And boom. Got it. Cool. Cool, that is done. Uh, I'm imagining that's all we probably need from this? Wait, what? Why is it changing? Oh no. This is the right one. Yeah, this is the right one. Okay, okay, never mind. Uh let's erase what I just put. Luckily I was using a pencil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so erase all that garbage. Okay, so that was wrong. So triangle triangle and then diamonds. And then two diamonds, like parallel. Okay, there we go. So that must be correct. All right, it, it helps you along a little bit because yeah, I, I knew this was the correct tide, but uh, she was like, I think this is the right one. I like when the uh, games do that. Okay, so that's all we need, I think. That's a lot of burnt down candles. I think that's all we need. I think we can go over here to the door thing now and input this combination and be good, question mark? I think we'll be good. I think we will be good. Hey, you stop that. You stop that right now. Those loud spooky noises. All right, yeah, so we just have to get back up here now. And, uh, I've, I've taken a peek at the achievements. It looks like there's six chapters in this game. And, uh, I'm gonna try to do a chapter an episode, so we should be finished pretty soon, since this is chapter three. 
that's what, about what I expected from this. And there is something coming out on the, uh, 21st that I want to play that I gotta be ready for, so. Alright, so we gotta go over to this thing and input this, and that'll probably open that door behind me, and that'll lead to the next chapter, I imagine. So, woo, we don't want to walk in there. Uh, okay, so. What do we do? What do we do we do? Okay, so we probably have the ones open that it specifies, right? So first we want this one open. No, 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 no. We don't want that one open. We want... Oh god, I don't see that one listed. Hmm. I don't see one of my options listed here. I do not see one of my options listed here. Did I note down the wrong one? Let me see, that one's there. Er, no. No, it's... Oh wait, yeah, no, that one's there. And that one's there. It's just this one that's two triangle. Oh wait, no, two triangles on top of each other. That's right there. Okay, so we gotta... Open these two and triangle, and everything else needs to be closed. I'm guessing. So... What are you? You're- you need to be open. Good, good, good. You need to be open. Uh, two triangles on top of each other. That's two triangles side by side, so you need to be closed. Okay, down here. You need to be closed. <clears throat> Gotta remember where all these things are, because they're- some of them are pretty well hidden. Okay, so you're open. Up. Oh, there's one right here. Hiding. Okay, your single diamond, you gotta be open. Okay, and now we just need... Uh, I think it's the diamond... Yes, yeah, the triangles on top of each other. So you need to be closed. You need to be closed. Okay, and then I think there's two more down here. Or maybe just one more. And you need to be open. And is there another one down here? No. Alright, did I miss one somewhere? Because nothing happened. Although I might have to go press the button. Yeah, I think I have to go press the button to activate it or whatever. So let's see here. Did I do it correctly? Alright, so you're open, you're open, and you're open. And those are... The ones I have noted down. No! Oh no, I was hoping that was right. Oh wait, what is this? Oh. Do we have to do something with the- yeah, the moon phases. Okay, today... is what? I think it's the 7th. November 7th, okay, yeah. So... Yeah, today's the 7th, so it's the new moon. Is that right? Now if I press the button? Yes! Okay. We did it. There we go. You raised the basalt pathway from the bottom of the sea. Yup. I did it! Yay! I'm not a complete and utter failure. Hooray. That's why I get up in the morning, to make sure I'm not a complete and utter failure. Alright, so... Over here in this way? Well, what do you do? Oh, you're another one of these. Okay, so what's up here? Somebody had something up here. My dear old pal, I think I'm getting closer to understanding what is happening to you. But it is taking a toll on my sanity. As fascinating as this island and its ancient and unfathomable wonders may seem, it's also a place plagued with misfortune and calamities. We lost Roy at the campsite. We almost lost our engineer on this beach. The doctor went mad and stabbed him with a strange knife. And all because of this island, Nora. 
Initially, we were optimistic and in high spirits, but now we've all become resentful and discouraged. Even I can feel how I am constantly assaulted by dark thoughts. Anyway, if what I am going through here helps me find you a cure, it'll have been worth it. I hope to find an answer in the temple on that mountain peak. Love you always, Harry. My poor Harry. He is worried, exhausted, disheartened. I will find you, my love. All right. Cool. So now what? Uh, is there an order to this I'm supposed to be doing? Um, am I just supposed to press these in order and that's it? Yep, and me thinks that leads to chapter four. I'm not sure why, but I don't feel this island is dangerous. Maybe it's because I haven't spent as much time here as Harry did. Or maybe it's because you're already infected by the black ooze, so you don't sense any danger from something you're already a part of. You're already infected, you wouldn't feel like this island's dangerous, I guess. All right, yeah, I guess we just go through here and we walk right into chapter four. Because this door was not open before. There's the fade the black. You have completed chapter three, yeah! Wow, yeah, this game is cool. I, I really like what this game's doing. It has a lot of super, super cool things going on. I'm, I'm pretty in love with it. All right, but I think we're going to go ahead and end things off here because this is the start of chapter four. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Call of the Sea and I will see you next time.